Hey there guys, it's Joey and this is the next Animal Totem set which is for the stag. Originally when I started this I honestly thought it was going to be the female energies for the deer and it just powered on through and was very determined to be the way it's come through which is quite masculine based around the mythos and associations of Kurunanos, the Celtic horned god with the antlers to do with you know the stag and the hunt and all sorts of themes of fertility, abundance, prosperity, personal growth, intellect, sexuality, wild nature. Very grr baby. <laughs> so that came through with this completely and it absolutely 100% insisted in my mind about having tree agate or moss agate and when I actually looked up the associations that was there so that was fine. So we'll move things over and just take a look at the herbal blend and the poppet first. The poppet needs another layer or two of wax on and I just felt very strongly about doing one for this set and it'll be about bringing true nature into yourself, bringing prosperity and maybe fertility within to yourself if you wanted all those things. And fertility not just necessarily for having children but for um, bringing ideas, bringing creativity, all that sort of thing. Okay, so this is, this is the herbal blend and it's a very earthy very earthy based herbal blend imbuing with this one is it a tree agate I think or it might be a moss agate I think it was advertised as moss agate you can never really tell with shops sometimes I'm pretty sure that might be tree though because the bluer shade underneath is it's difficult to tell and it's it's very very foresty it's meant to be sort of the, to conjure up images of being in the woods, being in wild places, in nature that is wild. It has beautiful notes in there. It's very earthy, very strong. It's quite masculine. It can be burnt as a incense on charcoal discs. It has resins within it. Three resins, I believe. One, two, three. Yep, there are three resins within it, and plenty of bark, and then like orange blossom and things. Absolutely stunning. So this herbal blend would also be good for uh, f all the same sorts of things we've already talked about, as well as uh, grounding away negativity. There's a strong element of that within this as well. It's absolutely lovely the way it's turned out. Very different from other herbal blends. So that's that. Got little bits on them. Yeah. And then we have the oil. And the oil has the little stag on the front. Pieces of uh, moss agate in there. Let's give it a shake and you can see it. It actually has a sandalwood essential oil in, which I don't do for all of them, but I do do sometimes, as well as the herbs that are within, the three main herbs. For anointing a candle, anointing many things, all the same sorts of associations as mentioned earlier. It's really pretty. All of the oils tend to be really pretty. It's interesting how that happens. Okay, and then we have the Totem Animal Spell Bottle. I'll lie it down for now because it's easier than having it up. Right, so... <laughs> Black is one of uh, the colour associations with, with uh, Corona Nos, as well as green, brown and gold. And so we have a nice gold long feather charm. It doesn't want to... alright, stand up then, if, if that would make you happier. 
there, you see? Please zoom in. The world does not need to see my keyboard. There you go. Isn't that a lovely charm there? And then the top, it's actually got the little ears. It's interesting. It's quite Native American in styling. And then the tree agate is actually attached. There is another little stag on the front. And the herbs are all within the keeping of protection, strength. And I decided to go with these more fuller bits of uh, there is rosemary and sage, possibly some bay in there as well, in their more raw forms, in their more stick forms rather than cr crushed up like the ball in very loose format. So these are um, homemade dried out ones to sort of give the impression of antlers as well as with the forest. So you can see that all the way through. I quite like how it came out, it's quite different, quite unique. And last but not least, of course, is the Spell Cauldron, the deep green bucket for colour association, the black wax for colour association as well, sort of masculine forest, and it allows all the other colours to sort of pick out through the black wax as well. Uh, another stone, moss agate there, and then you have oak. Blessed Thistle and orange flowers with their beautiful curls, you know, sort of symbolising antlers and the wild places and little flower for the Blessed Thistle there. I thought it was gorgeous, sunk into the wax. So that's absolutely lovely. So, that is the whole set. Uh, it won't be on the website for a few days two or three days maybe just to uh, allow the gnome some breathing room he's only just finished putting everything else up for me and going through everything with me but I wanted to show you all the, the next animal totem set that has been created